living according to God's plan. Praise the Lord. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. Now it reads, except for we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus. So we can do the good things He planned for us long ago. You know from these scriptures, there is something that is very, very clear. It is very clear that God has a plan for us. Praise the Lord. And it is also clear that the desire of God is for us to live out that plan that He has for us. Praise God. You know, I know that this month of February, our focus has been on moving forward. You know, it is not possible for any man to move forward if you don't have a picture of where you are going to. So for you to move forward, you must know where you are going. Praise the Lord. And the Bible is making it clear to us here that we are not just ordinary men. He said we are God's masterpiece. You know when you look into the scripture, it has something that, you know, when we look at it and have another side of it, our life will be different. Praise the Lord. Now first, what is a masterpiece? You know, if you ask an artist, an artist can say this is my masterpiece. You know, to me, it's like a joker. Or in a way, let's look at it as, you know, the best of a man's creation, that's your masterpiece. That is it. In other words, if there's going to be a competition in any way of all that I've created, it is my masterpiece that I'm going to take for that competition. It is the best of what I have. That's the meaning of it. That's all God says we have. When an artist produces an album, what does he do? He does produce what God the master. It is the master, it is from the master you now begin to produce others. And no artist will ever joke with his masterpiece. Am I correct? That is what the Bible says we have. Now, do we have this understanding? Do we actually know that we are God's masterpiece? Now, how would, I mean, let's look at ourselves. If something to us is a masterpiece, how do we handle it? Now, is it something that we just handle anyhow? No! It's not something I just keep anywhere and just be careless about. No! That is who God says we are. Say we are his masterpiece. In other words, we are something tangible in God's hand. You use your masterpiece for so many things. Because that is the main thing. That to me, that is the main thing. That is the end thing. Praise the Lord. So that is who God says we are. We are his masterpiece. He has created us for a purpose. A purpose which he has preordained. In other words, before we were created, God already organized and planned our life. Praise God. Yes. So you know, if you are going for a competition, like I said, if you want to make a product, you don't just sit down and just make something. No, you sit down. What do you do first? You draw a plan. You do your planning. If, like an architect, let's use that as an example. You want to build a house. You first of all get the the service of, of an architect to draw the building. Now, what the architect is drawing is what you have in your mind. It's not the physical structure, am I correct? But you have told him, I want something like this. Then you'll be able to look at the picture of what you have in your mind and then translate it into what? Into a picture that you can read. Then, you see, in paper, you have seen how the house looks like, but yet the house is not yet in existence. That was how we were in the mind of God. He already knew what before we were born. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, from verse 5 down. Of course, you know what, what the Bible says. He said, before you are formed in the bed, what happened? I knew you. Before we were formed, God already knew us. Because we were not an accident. Praise God. You see, this is the first thing we need to know. That we are not an accident. None of us was an afterthought. No, it's not possible. God preordained us. He knew us. He knew 
what we are going to do before he brought us to this place. Praise the Lord. So that is what the Bible is telling us in the book of Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. He says, we are God's masterpiece. He said, he has created us anew in Christ Jesus. For a purpose. But the truth is that we cannot feel that purpose if we don't really know who we are. You see, if I am holding a hole in my hand, if anybody looks at me, he, will, he knows that I am going to the farm. <laughs> oh? But can I carry a hole and go to the classroom? I mean, would that be absurd? People will begin to look at some of that. Oh, something is wrong with this man. Praise God. Why? Because that is not what, that is not the place for our door. Praise God. That is the same thing we have. See, God knows we are fit, we fit in. And He wants us to be where we fit in. If you take a fish out of the water, what happens with it? Why? Because on the ground it's not its habitat. Praise God. You see, that is the same thing with us. If a fish does not know that it's a fish and wants to come to the you know to the ground to do whatever he wants to do, of course that means he's inviting himself to something else. Praise God. But you see, if we do not understand who we are. Honestly, we will not go anywhere. There is no way we can move forward. Praise the Lord. So the Bible says, we are God's masterpiece for a purpose. God has prepared us for a purpose. He said, to do the good things He planned for us long ago. So we are an extension of God's creation. Praise God. He created us for a purpose to continue the work of creation. Now I'm using a microphone. God he didn't create this microphone. Am I correct? But he created a man who was who created it. Praise the Lord. You see, God wants us to be an extension of what he started. But the devil does not want that. And now we have realized that we are God's masterpiece. Meaning, we are not ordinary. So I want everybody to believe that this morning. You see, let that transformation come into your mind this morning. That come, I am not an ordinary person. I am a masterpiece. If a masterpiece is something that the owner is always sort of proud of, anywhere you go, you can beat your chest. Praise God. That is who we have to go. That is how God sees us. But the question is, do we see ourselves this way?